my best friend Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless Hi guys, welcome and to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassandra. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So, in today's video, I will be redoing and transforming my boy's room as their room theme will be race car because that's the only thing that they agree on on a theme. So, we're going to clean up, do a lot of DIYs, and a lot of organizing and things in their right place so we're just gonna go ahead and jump straight into today's video I'm going to jump into today's video by picking up all these toys the um, the boys kind of put their most played with toys aside and those are what's going to be left out there's also toys underneath their bed in a bin that they can slide out so those are the things that i have left out and whatever they don't play with too often i did put in storage or if it's broken i tossed it out or if it's something that was just old and couldn't be repaired or anything like that it was tossed out so i'm going to go ahead pick up and kind of get the floor together because i have a diy rug that i'm going to be making for this room because it's not soundproof like you can hear everything so i may i'm making this to help me i want to highlight this box and i'm going to show you guys right here how i made this box it's literally a moving box that i turned into a um, toy bin i was not able to find any toy bins that i actually like and so i was like okay i'm gonna just make something that goes with the theme because nothing i found went with the theme or everything i found was like a hundred two hundred dollars and i was not buying that i was not doing it no i'm sorry it's not happening so i went ahead and i went to the dollar store and i got these um black peel and stick papers and I just went ahead and wrapped it around it and then created a um, racetrack around the box. If you want to see a more in-depth video of this, I did record it. So please let me know and I will definitely edit it and post it. Okay, so let's get back into the regular scheduled program. I am trying to get everything off the floor just so I can clean it. So when I put these mats down... I can go ahead and have a nice clean surface to work with now guys this theme mop was by far giving me way too much problems maybe I should have read the directions but I am just not one of those people that read directions I'm sorry it's just not in my DNA I really don't feel the, the need to read directions on products I just do my own thing and then when i mess it up then i'm like dang i wish i would have read the directions i don't know are there any y'all like that because it can't just be me i'm that type of person just i just do whatever and look based on what it looks like should be done that's how i work with things so i kept like trying to figure out as you can see like why is the steam not coming out but come to find out you have to constantly just go i keep stopping because i wasn't seeing the steam but if you the steam builds up momentum from the back and forth which i didn't know so i figured it out eventually and did get it to work properly and this is my first time like having a steam mop and i don't know what i was thinking why i never had one like i absolutely love it my floors looked amazing they i did mix um 
it with water and fabuloso so i did it did smell good so if you don't have a steam up i would recommend you get one because girl, i'm loving it i am loving it i would never go back to regular mopping ever again Okay, so as I previously stated, the reason why I'm using these, I think they're called exercise mat or play mat. It's a foam mat. But the reason why I'm using these mainly is to absorb some of the sound. It is, there's like no soundproofing. I can hear every single thing downstairs. So I'm pretty sure they can hear every single thing upstairs. And I have boys in this room that play. They drive their cars on the floor and all that stuff. So... I decided to go ahead. I was trying to find a racetrack rug. Could not find one that I liked within my price range. I did not want to break the bank on this on my kids decor because I have a feeling that they're going to change their mind soon and want something else. So for right now, I know I needed a rug in here because of whenever they drive their cars and stuff. I don't want to irritate my landlord downstairs so this to me was a better option because I know I can always take this up or it wasn't that expensive and I will link it in my Amazon store if you click the link in my bio it will take you to the store I will not link the product one on one by one but I will link all these things in my Amazon store I really want to see how many of y'all are paying attention in this video to realize that this is in the middle of the night and my kids are literally in the bed sleep while I'm doing this. Like they're in their bed sleep with the light on and they don't even realize I'm in their room. So comment down below if you made it this far in the video so I can know how many of y'all already made it. So comment and let me know. As I stated, I wanted to create like a racetrack for the boys. So what I'm doing right now is writing like the start line when you're on the racetrack. I did realize I turned it the wrong way. But I ended up flipping it when I realized it later on in the video. But one negative I can say that it was probably 99% was my fault is I got this paint from the dollar store. And it started to peel off and it's all over my house now. So don't use the cheap paint. Please go ahead and buy something that's going to last because I'm going to have to redo it. Which I really don't have to because the boys, they still race it right now. But I might go ahead and just redo it because they did like it as it was. And they were able to do competitions and race each other. So that was the only downside is I did not have the correct paint. So I'm going to probably have to redo this because the paint was just too cheap. It's stripped and that was my fault. It has nothing to do with the rug or the paint. I just should have known a dollar store paint was not going to last, you know, forever. So I'm just doing the start line now. And I also did off camera the finish line. If you want to see a more in-depth tutorial on this, I have no problem on showing you guys. Or if you want me to just film when I redo it, let me know down below. And I will definitely do that and upload it so you guys can see it with a better paint and how it would look. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw like those separating lines um, down the middle of the racetrack because it's just the two of them that really race. So I just gave them two lanes pretty much. So this is the next day. I wanted to paint the rug um, while the kids were sleeping the night before. So today's a brand new day and I needed to go ahead and 
refresh their rooms. The, their sheets were put on their bed the day before, so I don't need to wash them. I absolutely love these sheets. Um, I ordered them off of Amazon. All three of the kids have white sheets on their bed. It just helps them to know, okay, your sheet's dirty. It's time for you to take them off and wash them. That's just that. And then I'm able to bleach it because it's white. No problem. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and make their beds. And then um, move on to finish cleaning up this room. Okay guys, so these little hooks I got off of Amazon, they're not the command hooks, um, but they do hold a lot. I'm telling you, I have no issues with these. They have yet to fall down once you stick them on properly. So I'm putting them in the back of the closet where I can hang their backpacks on it. Those are like their backpacks from last year or the backpacks that I use when they're going to church and stuff like that. And also on the door, I put them there where I can have their book bags on one and then their jackets on the one above it. So there's four on the door holding on. Above, I had their shoes. So I'm putting the shoes at the bottom now. And what I'm doing is what they have, the shoes that they have together, the same, those are in the middle and then each side for each one of them. And that's just how I am going to end up organizing their closet. I did order another hanging railing. So I just hung it over the closet that the railing that's in the closet. And it created a double closet layer situation, which works perfect because Carter's on the top and Caden's on the bottom. So that's how I have their closet working currently. As now that I have this portion empty, I'm going to go ahead and put all their school supplies up here just to get it off the dresser so they have more space on their dresser and it looks a little bit neater. So I'm just putting all their school stuff, any work from home um, things, storybooks. I do need to get a little shelf where I can put their storybooks um, because I have added a few things and changed a few things in the room since I've made this video. So I will do an updated one when I get everything else in the mail because with COVID and everything else, it's taken a while for me to get everything that I need. But because I needed to clean up the room and put down this mat, I said, let me go ahead and do it. So I'm just going to um, wipe this their dressers off because their little fingerprints are all over every single one of these drawers. And it is a hot mess. So I just want to go ahead and wipe it down, disinfect it, and um, just put like a little picture of each one on their dressers with their little piggy banks that their grandmother bought them while we was in Mexico and a little decor just to carry out the race theme. I never realized how difficult it would be to find the stuff that I needed for the boys room um, when it comes to like the race car theme because everything I found it was either overpriced or it wasn't what I was looking for like it had a specific car and I just wanted it to be just a generic race car room so it's, it was pretty it was pretty discouraging to what they didn't have so I find myself trying to figure out how to DIY a lot of stuff so I'm going to start like doing a little bit more DIY stuff because there's a few more things I do want to get done in here and I really really think they would like it so make sure your post notifications are turned on because you'll be getting a lot more updates on 
the room and everything so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the finished product and how it looks in the next clip